Uh, so it's great on cookies, cupcakes, or anything with phyllo, um, and these pumpkin bars too. So you can. So it looks like our brownies are now done. I'm going to test them rather than use a toothpick, which I often break, with our cake tester and releaser tool. Bakers love this. Yep, they're done. So I'm going to let them cool for um, five minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to show you a couple of our of my favorite products. This is the Food Chopper. If you want to add nuts, there's so many options. Like you can enjoy these pumpkin bars with um, a cup of your favorite um, pumpkin latte or um, pumpkin cappuccino or apple cider. Um, the Food Chopper, just chop up some nuts. This works great for nuts. Um, candy bars as well as celery and onions or broccoli. Kids love it too. It's great for pretending it's a race. And it helps get it out your agitation. So you can add a few nuts on top if you'd like with some frosting. Once these cool for a few minutes I'm gonna release them um, and add some toppings. You can also take the flour and sugar shaker and shake some powdered sugar on to your pumpkin squares. So that's a nice little eye appealing um, way to add a nice touch. Thanks. So I think our brown pumpkin cakes have cooled enough, so I'm going to release them from the pan with our mini serving spatula. Also great for lasagna, brownies, um, quiche, breakfast casseroles, you name it. People love this, and it's another popular seller. And the um, vents help release or help um, remove any greasiness before you put food on a serving plate as well. just come out of there really easily. So you can add some nuts to it. Nice thing about this is you have just a small amount and can do add nuts like that. If you'd like. So that's one option. Also have this great um, easy accent decorator which is another one of my favorites for baking.